Well, welcome back. It's gone 10 o'clock in the morning. This is my first walk since I left for America. First proper walk, it won't be Lafar because I'm too fat and unfit. As we leave the village, it's the hills, it's our road. I'll bring you back from time to time. G'day guys, welcome back to Fading Margins. Well, it's a beautiful day. Don't know how long it'll last, but never mind. Sun's out, sort of. Sky is blue, almost. That'll do. I'm looking a bit bleary eyed and a bit short of breath. Uh, put on a bit of weight. Haven't been exercising enough. And you get to your late middle age, I suppose it serves you, behoves you to get your ass moving and keep it moving. Uh, but you don't classic sort of use it or lose it. Anyway, we'll carry on. All right, so in our own little way, that represents the watershed for this uh, for the Aswith Valley, up and over the top of the ridge. And that's Wales for you, really. It's endless small rivers, very short, running down through uh, narrow, fairly narrow valleys, nothing like you get in the west of America, as you can see. Now, this isn't a river valley, technically. It's a fault line. And it runs all the way down there, all the way down to the sea. And uh, they say that the Viking and Irish raiders used to use it. They would land in clan rusted on the beaches and they'd use it as a way up. So you can see over here. And uh, if you have a good look, if you had a map I can show you, there's a string of hill forts dotted all the way up and down it uh, to protect people. So we, we've come over one valley into the next, so it's strictly a river valley. And all we're doing is messing about really because all I'm going to do is go down here go as far as that farm along this road and then we're going to cut back over that rise there and back down into the village. It's not very far a few hundred meters of climbing, which is nice. Well, it's not nice when you're doing it. <laughs> it's, not, it's nice, but it's very bucolic, isn't it? It's not bad at all. And you can see a squall coming in off the Irish Sea there. It's a funny place. Uh, you look around and you think to yourself, bloody hell, it's beautiful. And uh, I don't know about anywhere else, but Wales is like that. We spent two months under cloud. Two months rained, I think it rained every, we didn't have 24 hours of clear weather. And it's come out today, and it's like a special reward. It really is stunning. The grass is almost glowing green in the sunshine. And it's, uh, it's like nowhere else. <laughs> Reminds me of an old motorcycle I used to have. It was a complete pain in the backside, needed attention all the time. Always giving you grief. But when it ran, you'd forgive it all its sins. And the Welsh weather's a bit like that. It's absolutely dreadful. Possibly 60-80% of the time. But when it comes out, you wouldn't be anywhere else. It's uh, really lovely. There we are. Alright, so the village is kind of down there, directly in front of us, over the top of that bank. We've come up the other side of this hill. Past that farm over there, along here, had a chat with a local uh, farmer. Down the loft, we're off the road now. There's a, a bridleway right away down somebody's driveway. And we're going to go along there through that gap, if you can see it by the dead trees. We'll have a brew there and look at the sea. And then, and then we'll make our way carefully down the hill because it's a bit loose and steep. And then we'll go home and uh, feel accomplished so all this together into something mildly coherent for you guys to enjoy all right i won't talk to you now again until i get the kettle on all right fellas so rest stop that's uh west you can see there as i say there's a front coming in there's a squall out there there's the sea there's the irish sea see i'll blow it up a little bit for you there you go 
Right, and that's uh, Gosford Valley just winds its way down down there and around. Uh, Aberystwyth is kind of give it the old break and chop, sort of like in that direction over there. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty spot. I like it up here. Mackley on end they call it. And uh, down there with that house, the front of that house is, is the beginning of the Aspeth Trail. You can cycle along there, the old railway line, and the bottom, and that'll take you uh, by fair means and foul uh, into Aberystwyth. But we're up here resting. I've got my uh, Snowpeak 900, my Bush Cooker 1. She's running meths and a bit of hexamine. I think that's. Uh, for the bush cooker one that's a sweet spot you only need a little bit of mass just to warm the crucible and off you go and you can see she's tanking away nicely all right well welcome back as i said the uh, cattle had uh, stove had burned out and quite got to a boil uh, so uh, i've put plenty in this time she'll uh, she probably had a boil fairly shortly but uh i was working on a a folder this morning which uh, has ended up in, having to be scrapped because I haven't got the talents and uh, it would seem neither does the manufacturer to uh, I haven't got the talents to repair what the manufacturer should have done in the first place <laughs> anyway never mind these things happen um, teach you a lesson there are there's one brand of knife that I never ever have to fix and I was talking to a mate of mine the other day about this never have to change it Never have to send them back. Never have a duff spring, or a, or a blade that doesn't line up with the handle, or all the stuff that or loose blades, or all that wobble or anything. All the stuff that annoys me never happens. And that brand is answers on a postcard. No, it's uh, Victorinox. Victorinox uh, Swiss Army knives. Never get any trouble with them. Hang on a sec. She's boiled. Go look. Have a look at that. Just look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Great stuff. Anyway, as I was saying, you never get a hassle with them. And for value for money, they can't be beat. I'm sorry to everybody else. Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, you know, for pure functionality, uh, reliability, and quality, you just can't beat them. It's as good as it gets. Now. Would I want to run just one? Probably not, because I love traditionals. I love to have just a single blade. It appeals to the sort of pioneering mountain man in me, the, <laughs> yeah, the frustrated woodsman. But would I want to be without one of these? Absolutely bloody not. Because, you know, once you've pimped it out with, the, with your fire steel and your, um, you know, your special scales and your pin and just your little screwdriver hell you know there's not much you can't do with this and this appeals to the MacGyver in me although I was never a huge fan of MacGyver personally but you know uh, yeah. an old man could repent of his folly when he was young eh? so uh, yeah so if, you, if you've been watching my channel and I know my, uh, m most of the people who watch my channel this is according to the uh, According to the numbers are people about my age, but if you are watching my channel and you're thinking I'd like to get a, a fault, uh, you know, a slip joint folder to carry with me, get one of these. Get yourself a Swiss Army knife. Go through the website, work out what tools you fancy, what you can live with, what you can live without, uh, and get yourself one of these because you can't beat them. And uh, and if uh, you know if the brutal minion of the law falls upon you. And says, why are you carrying that? And you say, well, it's just a Swiss Army knife. And take one look at it and he'll smile benignly and they'll probably hand it back to you. Uh, so long as you're not being a complete twerp. So there you go. So I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea now, guys. I rather overdid the, uh, the amount of hexamine I needed. Um, but why not? First walk of the, first walk of the year. And uh, I'm going to enjoy that. I'll talk to you later. Uh, just down here is the gate. The gate... Uh, drops into the valley we we lose the sun as soon as we get down there so i'm going to bid you all a fond adieu uh, until next time i wish you all health happiness and every blessing steve from fading margins out on the hill 
Signing out for now. Bye-bye.